All right, what's up? Uh, Wayne Barron here with my blog, and what we're going to do now is that we're working on a 99 Dodge Intrepid 3.2 liter, and I'm just finishing up doing the radio radiator installation and the thermostat installation, and you can check out that video right here or right up here. Uh, so anyway. What we're going to be doing on this video is that I've got to take the water reservoir off and I've got to clean it out. And so in the process of doing that, I've got to remove everything that's up top right here, uh, which is covering the windshield wipers. And so since that also covers the tie rod ends, I want to show you how to access the tie rod ends, the inner tie rod ends of the 99 Dodge Intrepid at least a 3.2 liter. I reckon the, I'm not really sure if the other version, the 2.7 or whatever it is, on whether or not it's up top or below. But on the, the 3.2 or the 99 Dodge Intrepid, tie rod ends, uh, inner tie rod ends meet in the middle and that's where you gotta change your bushings at. So let's go ahead and get this thing torn apart. Okay, so to begin with, we need a 13 millimeter socket and we've got socket 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 and then all the way over on it we also got the star drivers that we need to uh, deal with as well okay and the star driver that you need for this one is the uh, the T the T25 is what's needed to get these off and they can basically just come off with the fingers unscrewing them Okay, so now we gotta get a hold of these. We gotta take off the windshield wiper. And you gotta just take your finger now. Pop these off. This right here is a 15 millimeter. Okay, this right here is the tricky part. In order to pop this off, grab a hold of it like this right here. And uh, just lift like this right here. That's all it takes. You don't need to do it any other way. And make sure that your windshield wipers stay in the same place. Lift. Just like that. And now we got everything off except for that one. Okay, so basically now what we need to do is just remove this. Okay, so now we gotta do is take off the rest of these bolts. Okay, that takes care of all them. So just simply grab a hold of this, lift it up out of the way. And now you can access the inner tie rod end. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, the tie rod ends are located right there okay so you got this one right here and that one right there okay I've already replaced these as you can tell so I am not going to remove them okay right here okay right there is a washer there's a washer right there as well and then you got your tie rod in then you got this blue part is the bushing and that, of course, is your, uh, of course, is your bolt. Now, whenever you replace these, do one side at a time. Uh, what I did is that I had to replace this one, this one first.
So anyway, what I did is that I, I took this one off first, but I loosened this one about halfway out. And that right there will give you enough clearance so that you can put this washer back. This is really tricky. This is very hard to do, okay? It takes a little while to get this done. To replace both of these, you're gonna loosen this one halfway out, and then you're gonna loosen this one or take this one all the way out, replace your bushing in here, and then grab a hold of your washer and put your washer in. Now, whenever you stick this bolt back in, make sure that it goes all the way through your bushing, your tie rod in, and your bushing on the other side, and then take that washer and just barely stick that washer on there and then slide the bolt through. Connect it on. Make sure that, that you've got a good connection. Make sure that it screws in good because this one right here did not want to screw in. The package comes with brand new bolts. So use your brand new bolts. Do not reuse the old ones. And then screw this one back in. Dag on it. it keeps on fogging up on me. Screw this one uh, about halfway back in and then unscrew that one. So you want to repeat the process. And do not forget that washer. If you forget that washer, like what happened on our first go around, it will tear this bushing all to hell. So do not forget to put that washer right there. You can barely see, you can see it really good on that one right there, that gold right there. Do not forget that washer. So that's how you get to these. I'm not gonna take these apart. And uh, the size are gonna be one of these two. All right, perfect. The size is going to be a, uh, a 15 millimeter. Is that right? That's, yep, 15 millimeter. So you need a 15 millimeter for both of these right here, wherever they're at. I can't find them. Okay, so right there. It's hard to look through the phone and look at this at the same time. There ain't no way in the world I'd be able to record this. But anyway, 15 millimeter. Do not forget the washers blue bushings and that's how you get it all right thanks for watching